Hello, good morning. Alright, let's hope we hit something. <laughs> Yep. Well, that was... <laughs> uh, let's, let's spin again. It is, it is. It's a, it's a mulligan. It's a, uh, it, it's a net. This is an exercise in making mulligans, essentially. It's, it's an exercise in taking mulligans and really not much other than that. Like that was the best hand ever but... Alright. What do I want here? Oh, I've always hit. The past four games, the past four games, I've always hit. I mean, I've always got to trickery, but I've only won once. And that was off stream. That was before I started. <laughs> but so far, I, I'm patting myself on the back and being able to cast the actual trickery every game. Zero. Now let's see if we actually get something. Oh, nice. All right, this isn't so bad. Okay. So we still have do we have the win? No, no, yeah, we still have the win here if he's just going to uh, reduce to memory. Because we tap everything down and we get a 3 2. Oh no, we, we don't. We. we... We're actually down one. We are actually down one damage. I mean, we're down uh, one. Yeah, we're down one damage. We can't kill him.
Yes, we can still lose. I should just swing with this. Right? Because he can even just choose not to block here. Actually, we'll probably still lose. Because he can, he can sit tight and just uh, make one of these guys bigger and bigger. All the while sacrificing the selfless savior to give them indestructible. That's strange, he didn't, he chose to just, uh, okay, yeah, this is grow going to grow bigger and bigger, oh, really, I'm gonna block, oh, but he'll make it indestructible, right, no, we'll still block. Yep. I mean, maybe we can get to eight eight lands and cast Ugin. I guess that's the that's the only way here. Uh, yeah, we do force him to block here. But next turn, we can. It's not going to be possible anymore. Nero is gonna get our Ugin. Or the Cro Orrery actually is also a good. Either of these is good. Ugin or. or... Okay, now I don't understand that. So now we can't attack. Now we cannot attack. Yeah, I know. Strange, right? I don't think we have an out here. If only this guy, you know. This is just six. Yeah, we're dead next turn. <laughs> oh, we can't cast the world. Ah, okay, because of the orrery. Orrery world. No, I... oh, cool. 
<laughs> now we have we have two tries. I used snow covered mountain so that the opponent will think that we're on snow red. Yep, I'm, all, I'm I'm playing it because I got my fourth. Uh... All right, here goes Kiora again. Still go for it again. Uh, wait, I wasn't at full control. Another one of these, another this. Yes. Yay! What was the wait? Let me playing world tree. Yeah, but we don't have world tree in the deck. Should, should we have world tree in the deck? That's a good idea, actually. That's a good idea. World. All right, so that's why. How many world trees do I have? I only have one world tree. I'm not going to craft more for this deck. All right. Mm. And if you think about it, should we just go for Eska... I mean, should we just go for payoffs that are just Ugin and... No, 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 no. I think that's too few. We'll hit the Tormod script and the, the Stone Claw Serpents. Alright. Yes. I mean, it is, but should we just should, should we just replace it with lands? All right. I don't want to play the world tree. So I don't want to give up. They won't know anyway, right? Yeah, they won't know anyway. Probably think we're on green or something. Okay. 
No. <laughs> no. Alright, we do have the world tree, I guess. How many do... We need six lands. <laughs> okay. We need six lands. Well, we have six lands. Uh, but this isn't even going to... <laughs> now it's dead. Yes, it wasn't. So, but yeah, in as far as getting to cast trickery, uh, it's pretty consistent in doing that. Like, so far I've cast, I, I haven't had a game where I didn't cast trickery. Or I didn't get to cast trickery. So that part... That part works. It's the rest that doesn't. Like... Like if all of our opponents conceded before trickery resolved, then we would have won all our games. <laughs> Alright. Yes, but at the same time, in in two of those two, I think two of those two of those hits, I the hit was not enough to win the game. So it's eighty percent to hit something good, which is okay. But at the same time, uh, there's some chance of hitting something that's not a trickery or another zero to cast spell that is also bad. So there aren't there aren't enough good hits is what I'm saying. But, but maybe that's because of my deck. Like I I refuse to I refuse to craft anything more. I I refuse to craft anything for this deck. Uh so like the coma could be you, you may want four comas. Right? The emergent ultimatum is basically there for you to reroll. Like when you get ultimatum, you basically get Eska, Kyora, and another trickery so that if they give you either t trickery cura or trickery eska you have the option to reroll it's basically that and yeah the the orrery is actually i guess bad maybe we should just get rid of the orrery Get rid of the orrery and put what in its stead? Lands? Land. Oh, Dream Trawler, right. That's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good idea. 
I'm fine with Dream Trawler. In fact, uh, yeah, let's let's try this. It's still like again, Emergent Ultimatum is only for the reroll. It's like you don't have anything else. And if they do give you, if they do give you uh, Kiora and Eska, then that's also good. Still have six hits, six possible artifacts here to cast artifacts before we die. That's fine. Come on, six hits. Nope. Probably have just one more. Well, that sucks. <laughs> sucks. That's the eight, the the twenty percent chance of hitting a a uh, zero to cast artifact or an ultimato. I'm oh, sorry, or or a trickery just happened. A twenty percent chance. Which makes sense because we've been playing. Uh, we've been playing enough times for it to actually appear. <laughs> I'll keep this. I can go one more. Now we'll return four cards. Now I'll I think I'll keep this. And we don't want emergent. We want Genesis. We have eight hits out of fifty four. That's bad odds. Probably have maybe three, three draw steps. Yeah, but we we have several. Uh, we have we still have about a few draw steps left. Maybe, actually, maybe. Two more draw steps maximum. Could be just okay. <laughs> One draw step. One draw step left. And <laughs> bust. 
<laughs> Alright, so that's that's my first time not being able to pull it off. And probably because I didn't mulligan enough. Because I still had I still had one mulligan left. I think we do want to mulligan up to three uh three cards. We mulligan up to three cards. Not not up to four cards. The mulligan should be up to three. Up to three always. So this is keep four, so one more. Yeah, we keep this. Nightmare can't take the Stone Coil Serpent, right? Non creature, non land. That's why I didn't. That's why the. I, I bought on the other zero to cast artifact. Drawn so many cards, the <laughs> opponent is also stuck. So, and now he has to discard because he put Yorion in his hand. All right, we'll get to that Ugin mana, I guess. Two more lands, and we get Ugin. Right. Ah. Tempted to do this, but he probably has a bunch of removals in hand. It's useless. Uh oh, here we go. Yes, I do. I do have one world tree, right? <laughs> okay, now I will go for it. Just to delay him. Because he doesn't have black mana this turn. So he needs black mana here to do uh, ultimatum. Wow, and we can block boring cards. Okay. 
okay. Probably has mystical dispute. Oh no, two Ugins. I think at this point we give up on the trickery plan and just go force him to use his mystical dispute here and then maybe draw a land. Or force him to use uh, Extinction Event, then draw a land, drop Ugin. doesn't have the double black is what it still doesn't have the double black so still no epiphany for I mean no uh, ultimatum for him huh. you swing first. Come on! <laughs> we'll triple block the stone coil serpent. Oh, really? That... He doesn't know about the trample, I guess. There's the ultimatum. But what will he get? Oh. Yay! <laughs> yes! The most expensive lightning bolt ever. Not even lightning bolt. It's it's essentially just uh, what do you call that? Lava spike. So he ultimatums here. I just don't give him Alrun's Epiphany, I guess. Oh, but he can get. Uh, he can get or. Uh, he can also get, as long as he doesn't get the uh, Plex. No, but he can also. So what I don't like would be Plex, uh, Epiphany, and Professor Onyx. <laughs> yeah, Plex. That's what I don't like him to get. I think anything else, I can just uh, remove the... Oh, yeah, that's also still okay, because then he has to deal with the the Ugin. Right. Alright, so here I just don't give him the Epiphany, and I should be fine, right? I don't give him the Epiphany. So he just swings, he just swings, uh... 
Yes, as long as... Oh, and now it's Mystical Dispute too. Yes, you did. Yes. Yes. It also helped that our opponent drew very poorly. <laughs> Got stuck on lands for several turns. <laughs> uh, yeah, mulligan that. Mulligan that. Mulligan that. We still mulligan this, right? This is keep 4, keep 3. Mulligan that. Yeah, this we have to keep. This, turn four cards. Yeah. Oh, I think this is Timur. This might be Timur. Oh no! <laughs> it's our last. Oh yes! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. Come on, let me hit something good. I've been. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, just a few. Like, I'll play about maybe 15 more minutes of this before calling it a day. I just didn't have anything better to do today. I mean, for the stream, that is. I'm just. I don't really need to test. Okay. Zero, confirm zero. Doo -doo -doo. Come on, come on, come on. Give me something nice. Give me something nice. Yes, first Ugin. The first time we've resolved Ugin with Tibalt's trickery. Sure. I can't 
can actually mine this zero here. Right, I should mine a zero. Feels so difficult to to win. Arg. Maybe should have I should have trickery that point maybe. Yes, yes, that's what I've been th thinking about. That's all he needs to draw, I think. A baleful mastery. Now he can he can do blood chief stars too. Come on, let the Ugin live for one more turn. Ah. Now let's trickery that now, because I don't think. Yeah, let's trickery that. Because we really need we really need this to go ultimate. Alright, that's not so bad. Sure, I bet. You Ooh. this world's balance. Alright, so minus ten. Put seven permanents. Three, four, five, six. Just six is fine, I think. Right, cover the other thing. Really? I mean, Coma can be heartless acted on that same turn, right? If he had, if he had two open mana, so I'd say Coma and Ugin are are kind of your go-to's. The others, yeah. I mean, Genesis Ultimatum, uh, Kiora beats the. But I also I think turn two. Probably Dream Trawler, if you can do it turn 2, Dream Trawler is also very good. Better than Ultimatum or Kiora, I think. It's difficult for them to deal with a, a, a Dream Trawler until, wait, maybe maybe turn 4 if it's a Sultai, if it's a Sultai deck. Right, you should be able to win any aggro, aggro uh, race there. Mm. 
mulligan this. Four, no, we mulligan one more time. And we keep this. Mm, yeah, Soul Shatter. Yeah, that, that takes, takes care of the Dream Trawler. Also Coma too, right? If it's on if, if they also have the mana. Uh... Oh, wait. Let's see, let's see how good this uh, creature is. We're dead to mass removal though. Is this mass removal? Does this shatter the skies? Once he draws his mass removal here or that, we can still draw another trickery. Ha! Oh, shark. That's the shark. Okay. Oh, but he has. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's field of ruin. 
Let's see. I mean, he could still draw trickery, but at that point, I think it's it's safe to say he has some counter spell or whatnot. All right, last game. Yes. Yeah, last game. I guess like it could be made better by having more uh, world trees. Precisely because you can, like you said, you can cast uh, Eska. Okay, keep. Ooh, this is a nice last game. I hope. Alright. We have the two things in our hand that we don't want to trigger. Like definitely the deck should have four comas instead of just the one. <sighs> sure. We have one more shot. Alright, shot number two. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that's that's not the last. That's not a bad last game for this deck. <laughs> oh, nice pack. Ooh, yes. Yes, that's one less thing I need to craft. Final thoughts? It's a bad deck. <laughs> I mean, granted this isn't this isn't the best this isn't the best possible list. The list can be improved, like you said. Uh, the best list should have should have uh, comas, four comas, and should have the world tree. Because it costs very little to include that in the deck, and it actually gives you sort of a secondary plan if your opponent isn't actively trying to kill you, and you still have some wiggle room. So you can play, you can play the, uh, uh, you can play the the prismatic bridge on turn on turn six. Oh no, on turn five even right on turn five because you you just play tap. No no on turn six. You play tap, and then you tap your five lands in order to play the the bridge. But you won't get any value from that until turn seven. So really, it's 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 still a bad secondary plan in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I think if if there are better uh, hits, if there are better hits than emergent ultimatum, for example, then maybe. And Kiora best, best the, 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 the Sea God, then maybe. Like, you need to replace this, you need to replace that, you need to replace that. I mean, you do have four comas, so I guess that one can be replaced. But you have a lot of other stuff. And aside from that, there were several times where we just hit another Tibble Trickery or another Tormod script or another uh, Stone Coil Serpent. So those are unavoidable because you need to have all of those in the deck in the first place. So overall, of course, you know, the deck isn't... Dude, that deck is certainly not uh, 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 tournament worthy, but it's fun. <laughs> All right, okay, so that's it for me today. Uh, happy Mother's Day to everyone's moms and to mothers everywhere. And yeah, I'll see you again next time.